The Bridgewater football team opened ODAC play by winning an absolute thriller at Guilford, edging the Quakers by scoring twice in the final seven minutes and then picking off a pass to save the 30-28 lead. Deshaun Denny appeared to open the scoring less than five minutes in on a 63-yard pick six, but the score was called back due to a block in the back. The Eagles would eventually score first as quarterback Jay Scroggins carried in both the touchdown and the conversion for an 8 to nothing lead. The Quakers would score twice to take a 14 to 8 lead, but the Eagles responded. Dakota Schrader caught a deep ball down the left side and then caught a trick pass from fellow wide receiver Trey Stevens for a second straight game. Bridgewater trailed 28-21 in the fourth after three straight drives to open the second half stalled inside the Guilford 30, yielding a total of just three points. BC finally broke through on a 24-yard TD pass to Schrader, but the extra point was blocked. The Eagles got the ball back quickly on an interception by Braden Thompson, and Logan Wise, in his first career game handling field goals, drilled a 41-yarder to make it 30-28 Eagles. Matt Dang broke up a deep pass on the Quakers' last chance drive, but there was more drama to come. Guilford quarterback Alex Manley somehow spun out of a Gary Ramey Jr. sack at midfield with 30 seconds left and threw up a prayer as he was hit by another eagle. Montek Johnson came down with the jump ball to seemingly set up the host with a short field goal try to win. The Quakers, holding two timeouts, went for the touchdown first, however. Manley rolled left and tried to throw back across the field and Dustin Green picked it off to clinch the win for Bridgewater. Well, I think uh, that was, as I mentioned to the kids right after the game, I've talked about the post-game show here. Uh, that was a team win. I think at one point or another throughout this game, uh, there were both units, uh, the, all three units, the kicking game, the offense, and the defense, that did things at the necessary time they needed to do to win. Um, there were also individuals that made plays, and, and the challenge will be there's, we all need to improve a little bit too. Uh, I think it's one of those days where I don't know that you're going to put to one play, one individual, or one group that won this football game, but that was just a great collective effort, and there were just a number of instances. I thought our offense did a good job of controlling tempo. Um, a lot of those NFL people like just watching games on Sunday, if all the balls being snapped at one, yes, I'm aware it's being snapped at one, but also Guilford isn't getting on the number of plays that they are expecting to get, so we were able to control tempo on that. Hey, I'd like a little more efficiency once we get on their side of the 40. There's no question about that. And then I do think for the defense, for the most part, uh, you know, they held a, an offense down. They had the three explosion plays, but you're going to expect that when you play a Guilford team. And but, but we did enough to win. And then certainly, uh, you know, a, a great play by Dustin Newman, right, or Dustin Green, right there at the end for him just to come make that interception, uh, particularly for them uh, to beat us on the other first force and five on the broken play. You know, we had one chance to end it, but no. Nobody hung their hat. We just kind of came back and played football. This is a good day to be a Bridgewater Eagle. If we enjoy this in the right way, uh, I was picked to go one and nine. I've improved 100% from what the opponents picked me. Um, there's no question I'm on house money right now. Hey, let's challenge ourselves and see how far we can run with this.